Jeff, it's a lovely day in Morecambe. Have been for your stroll down the prom? It's absolutely glorious. Yeah, I have actually. Yeah, me and wife went down. We've, we sat in the car and had our lunch, looking over towards um, the Lake District and Barrow. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. So, uh, how are Chorley doing so far this season? At home, we've been absolutely great. I think we've had six league games and won six. We have been beaten in a cup match at home. Away, we've played six, lost five, drawn one, which doesn't augur well for today, does it? I always look at it the other way around that it's, it's, we're going to break the duck if they've lost everyone today's going to be their lucky day so uh... The season's been okay. I, you know, if I had to mark it out of ten, it'd be about six and a half, seven out of ten. Not as good as the last few seasons. It's the worst one we've had. Can you put your finger on that one? I think it's just player availability, which I know happens to most teams nowadays. It, no doubt Markham have the same problem. We, we just can't seem to get a settled team. You know, the back four is changing all the time. You just cannot keep consistent when, when this is happening. When you see teams like Middlesbrough, they have about 11 teams, you know, they have a youth squad and a second team and stuff like that, and they've got the backing of clubs, and it, it's very difficult to um, stand up against people like this. It is. We haven't actually played Middlesbrough yet, we play them next week, so we'll be finding that out next week. Yeah, we, we have quite a lot of away games left, so I'll be happy when we get to 22 points, to be honest. We're on 19 at the moment, so I think 22 should keep us safe. 19 was the cut-off point last season. If you had 19, you were safe. So whether that's going to happen this season, I don't know. And how's your daughter doing? My daughter's done OK. She got married in August, so but her, her form hasn't suffered too much with that. Um, yeah, she's done OK. She's captain, actually, at the moment, because uh, the usual captain, Danny, has been out for all, the whole season, near enough. So she's on the bench today, is Danny. Right, well, Jeff, uh, and uh, the missus is there waiting for you with a cup of coffee. Enjoy the match. Thanks very much. It's very good of you. Great to see you again, too. Uh, you too.
It's a lovely day for football today. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day today. It's sunny. We haven't got a bad side out today, to be honest. The weather's not as cold as we were expecting. The sun's shining. Beautiful day for football. So let's hope everybody goes out and enjoys themselves. The tactics of today are look at their strengths initially, negate them, get to tight on one or two of their players that we know can score goals, and then release the ball early and see if we can get, um, get Emma away up top with... Sophie and Emily supporting as quick as they can. Something we have tried in the past, not always come off, but uh, it depends whether the players actually take it on board this week. It's been a tough beginning to the year. I know we're into February now, but we've had some tough matches. An easy start to the season. I, we always looked at this, these fixtures after Christmas and thought Feds, Chorley, Hull, Middlesbrough, going to be a really tough run. And it's, that's the way it's turned out. And it doesn't, it's not helped the fact that we've, we've obviously lost a few players through injury or um, you know one thing or another. And it's just the season isn't panning out as we'd hoped. So we will turn the corner, but if, when is... Um, let's just hope it's this season rather than next. We have some fixtures that we're aiming at, are we? We've just I've highlighted one or two fixtures this morning with Cloppy. Obviously, we're going to the Tranmere fixture for the 28th has been postponed, so it looks like we'll play Tranmere probably back to back. I would say at the end of the season, um, they're two fixtures that are maybe of importance. So hopefully, we'll have a. I w I'm hoping we'll have a, a decent squad back by the end. We've got one or two out injured who, who set a, a deadline for sort of mid-April, so hopefully. We might be up and running by then. Only two, only um, with two games left. Anyway, we're going to enjoy the sunshine, aren't we? It's going to be a fun day today. I can see it. Nick, thanks very much. Thank you. Vicky, it was a cracking game this afternoon, wasn't it? It was definitely a, a really heated competitive game, good promotion for women's football. Well, we always have a, a good yeah. contest with Chorley, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Over at our place, a lot of goals, wasn't there? Was yeah. it 5-4, I think, that day to us, so we're all even in yeah. the league this season. Um, What about today? How did you see the game? We felt that we dominated for a lot of the, the game, a lot of the possession from the back coming forward, but we weren't able to uh, penetrate, really, through your defence. You were solid at the back. Some some really nice phases of play from you, and obviously you took your chances. Janet Dawson at the back, she's always one of our main players. Player of the season last year, and she's got a number of player of the games this season. Saskia Bowles at the back, she also was, was solid marking your number 10. But I don't feel anyone had a standout performance. We weren't on our game today. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Was, was there anyone missing then? Or you've got players missing? Or? Um, just, just our right back that wasn't available today. Um, so it was a, our usual 11, really. And of course, you scored a goal. So I did, can I you did. tell us about that? Uh, just a long ball through. It bounced straight into my path. I was able to lob it over your approaching keeper. <laughs> so it'll be on the match of the day tonight. So, um, what about Charlie this season and going on from now? <clears throat> well, we, we've. Obviously lost a few weeks ago to Chester the Street and that halted our attack for first place right in its tracks and then today we were hoping to get back on to winning ways and we've uh, we've been stuck again so we just push on, take, take the next game next week against Middlesbrough at home 
is, is the next game and hopefully we'll push on there with the, with the well, victory. Well, apparently you play better at home than you do away. You've won all six at home. Yeah, you? yeah, we are strong at home. We like the pitch. Our new ground over at Exton. And we do, we do like playing there. It's, it's a wide pitch, so it fits our playing style a lot more. Thanks very much. Uh, good luck for the season. Yep, you too. We'll see you next season. Thank all you right, very thanks, much. Vicky. Thank you. Thanks, Vicky. Thanks, Barry. Anna, terrific victory today for us. Yeah, really good. Obviously, uh, kind of our, they're our local rivals, so we were we were up for this. And after the first game of the season, them beating us, we, we were really up for it and we, we wanted to get the three points. It yeah, was a, well, it was a good game. Got the, we almost got a draw in the first game at their place and they almost pulled it back at our place. So, uh, you know, the good games to watch, yeah? They are, yeah. For some reason, it's just, it's always been, yeah, a really feisty game between us. And yeah, and it is. And personally, I, I was I I really enjoyed it because kind of it, it just it, it makes you it makes you really want to beat him so much um, and yeah the last kind of 10 minutes were, were a bit nerve-wracking but yeah we held on I think everyone played well I think everyone just worked really hard I think we were just a bit more positive today but yeah I think I think everyone played well Clissa I know that there was that little mistake but other than that she she did she did play really well and just we, I thought we were quite solid back after kind of first 15 minutes was a little bit shaky with that player running through but after that we we settled it down and I think we we, we all played really well together and uh, Emma's a brave player isn't she I mean three times she went down she is she um she always seems to win as kind of well I suppose it could have could have been a few penalties free kicks she gets a body in the way and and they yeah they go through unfortunately she's obviously taken a clap today and hopefully she's going to be all right because we do right. need her but um she always she always does well right there she is hobbling away at the moment. I know, yeah. And uh, Anna Palin, you scored a goal today. Would you like to tell us a bit about it? Yeah, I think it's one of those. You don't really have too much time to think about it. I think Mel could have shot and then it could but it come back to me and then I just got my foot through it and it went in the in the top corner and obviously that made it three one, so it's made it a little bit more comfortable for us. But then obviously they pulled pulled the second one back. So but yeah, it was that was obviously always good to score. It's Liverpool Feds at home next week. Liverpool yeah, Feds. it's changed. It was Tramway away. Liverpool Feds at home and then it's Chesterley Street away. So from this, hopefully we can knock on from this. Um, that's going to be a, a tough game. But at least, you know, we're on the 3G. When we played him away, it was it was a bit muddy. So hopefully we can get something. Right, well, we deserve a pint tonight then, don't we? Yeah, we do indeed. Pat Guinness. Thanks very much, Anna. Thank you. Kick again.
It was a smile, Bex. Come on. Well played.